Hey guys, so today we're going to tell you how to wear denim with dress shoes. We get a lot of comments and questions on our YouTube channel and Instagram asking us how we wear dress shoes with denim so well and you, people always say, oh, I could never pull that off the way you guys do. How do you do it? So today we're going to give you a few tips and tricks that kind of illustrate how to pull off this style move. Yeah, I mean, I guess George and I never realized that this is actually an issue because we do it so often, but we start seeing the same comment over and over and over. And I think it just, it honestly like, it happened by chance that we owned the right combos already and they just happened to work out well. So we never had that issue of like, oh, this looks terrible when yeah. you look down at your feet. Some guys have that. Well, well, I think the way you wear your trousers with your dress shoes versus your denim with your dress shoes is totally different. And so many guys today are trying to almost use the same concept and when, you know, vice versa, but you can't. Yes, so first of all, the style of shoe is very, very important. Yeah. So cool. anything you consider like a dressy, dressy, formal type shoe, do not wear with denim. So anything black, really not recommended with denim. Um, anything shiny. Anything shiny and very like formal. Even like a, a nice dark brown wingtip is not gonna work. Yeah, a yeah. light brown maybe, but stick to more casual style shoes like derbies or monk straps or um, I mean Oxfords on occasion depending on the color once again. Yeah. But I will say also fabrics. So right. if, you, if you can do a suede or like, like these are a wool. So personally I wouldn't wear wingtips with uh, denim because I feel like it, it's like a formal but not formal. That also kind of re reminds me of like that old school like rockabilly type dude, which is not really me, you know, so I would stay away from that. See, I personally like a nice light brown wingtip or, you know, actually not new though, like a worn in, like a wingtip that you've had for like four years yeah, that's yeah. like scuffed and like really scratched up and a light brown, that yeah, that's, looks awesome with denim. Yeah, I think also like worn in, worn in shoes look phenomenal with denim. So like if you're gonna do it and you're a little, I don't know if I should wear these, if they're worn in and, and it has some scuffs, screw it, just rock them, you know, yeah. and, and, and fill it. Yeah. Um, I also think it's very important on how tailored your denim is. Yeah. So this may sound funny, but it, like your denim can't be too tailored, but they also can't be too loose. Like we always say, fit is the most important. So the thing that makes a dress shoe and denim work is the fact that it's got to be kind of the same silhouette. So if, if you're wearing a slim dress shoe, which most dress shoes are that most people own, you're going to need to slim down the silhouette that meets your pants. Oh, yeah. And it can't, they can't be too long. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe a slight break. But, I mean. But nothing, like, you can't have a bunch, like honey bunches of pant leg. No, no, it's terrible. It's going to look like you're just, your jeans are trying to eat your dress shoes and it's not going to look good. As much as it looks good with, like, a sneaker, because sneaker has a little bit more substance to it, and you'll still, you can maybe, like, pull the tongue out so you can tuck the denim in so you can still see the front of your shoe. Yeah. Like, if your denim covers, like, this part of your shoe, you might as well not even wear a dress shoe with that denim to begin with. And the cuffs, guys. Make sure you're only able to cuff it once, maybe twice, and keep the cuffs small. Right. So, I mean, it's also really cool if you were, if you're, if the bottom of your pant leg falls right at the brim, and you want to rock no-show socks, I think that looks, that's like a George D's, yes. and it looks sharp. Yes, Blake and I, were, we actually just had this conversation that no-show socks might be the best way once you find the perfectly tailored jeans to ease yourself into yeah. that look as well, because it kind of separates the dress shoe from the dressiness of it because you're used to looking down seeing a dress sock come out of your shoes and if you have no socks on it's going to feel a little more sporty a little more casual yeah so that might also help you ease into it but still wear no-show socks so george and i have two steps that are going to help you on your way to wearing denim with dress shoes so for me one i would say wear like a cognac a light brown like a tan dress shoe so whether it's suede or leather you can wear it with pretty much any style a t-shirt with a dress shirt, with even like a blazer. I feel like that's a great starter, okay? And two, I would rock monk straps. I think the more worn in the monk strap, the better, because it's gonna give it a little more character. And also you could unbutton the top strap to make it like a little bit more casual. Those are my steps. For my two tips, I would say, try a suede or something textured other than leather for your first dress shoe and denim experience. And then if you really want to kind of 
figure it out before you go to the tailor so you don't have to go back three or four times. Put your jeans on and just kind of like lift them up and like pinch them. Like roll them up to like here and look from here down just so you know how, how much of a, t a taper you want and how much of a hem you want. And you can kind of pinch them in the back to see how slim they need to be. Just so you can kind of get a feel of when you're at the tailor, like how they're going to look. Yeah. So, you know, you can kind of feel your way through this as well. Yeah, and, and again, guys, you want to stay away from skinny jeans, you want to stay away from boot cut, and yeah. you want to stay away from black shoes, regardless if they're suede or leather. So that pretty much wraps up our video on denim and dress shoes. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. We try to answer everybody. So drop us a note, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Like us on Instagram at Gents Lounge. Hashtag your pictures, hashtag Gents Lounge. And stay tuned. Thanks, guys.